Hi everyone, this is Gopi Krishna of class 12A. Today, we will be discussing about the P block elements. Only the introduction part now. So, before going on the introduction part of this lesson, let me tell you how a periodic table works. This is a rough diagram of the periodic table. So this is how a periodic table looks. This part is the S block. The lower part is the F block. The middle portion is the D block. Whereas the last portion is the P block. So we will be concentrating only on the last part of the periodic table that is a P block. So let me draw that the part of the block over here. So E. So this is the P block element. You can refer this in page number 28 of your text. Okay. So this place is occupied by helium. So usually uh, the P block elements consist group ranging from 30 to 8. The 13th group elements are known as icosatins. The 14 group elements are known as tetragines. The 15 group elements are known as nitrogens. The 16 group elements are chalcogens. Seventeen group elements are known as halogens. And the last group is the 18th group, the inert gases. The lower part of the periodic table, that is the, this part, is occupied by the radioactive elements. Usually the big block element consists of metals, metalloids and non-metals. If you refer in page number 28, the green portion are the green elements are the metalloids whereas the dark blue faces are occupied by the metals and the remaining part are the non-metals. So have you ever wondered why these elements are characterized in P block? Let me explain you with a simple example inducing the topic of electronic configuration. So the electronic configuration of boron 5 is 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. The oxygen, I mean the electronic configuration of oxygen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. Then we let us take another example of lithium. Li3. So the electronic configuration of lithium is 1s2, 2s1. Okay. So if you observe these examples, in these two examples, the valence electron occupy the P shell. In this case, the valence valence electron occupy the S shell. So with this, we can conclude that the valence electron determine to which block it belongs to. In this case, it belongs to the P shell. I mean, I mean the P block. For this example, the valence electron occupies the S shell, so it belongs to the S block. So let me draw, draw this.
So we'll further continue our introduction for the p block elements or with the oxidation state of p block elements. So as I said earlier, the p-block group uh, starts from 13 to 18. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. The first element in group 13 is boron. For group 14, it's carbon. For group 15, it's nitrogen. Whereas for group 16, it's oxygen, for group 17, it's fluorine, and for group 18, it's neon. So the general electronic configuration of these elements are, for group 13, it's NS2, NP1, for group 14, it's NS2, NP2, for Group 15, it's NS2, NP3. For group 16, NS2, NP4. For group 17, it's NS2, NP5. So the last group is NS2 and NP6. Where the N belongs to the principal quantum number. So, value of n can range from 1, 2, 3, and it goes on. When the value of n is 1, then it occupies the k shell. When the value of n is 2, it occupies the l shell. When the value is 3, it occupies the m shell. So, let us continue with the oxidation state. So we'll be moving on to the next topic that is the group oxidation state. Group oxidation state or the highest oxidation state can be calculated by the number the, by the sum of the electrons in S shell and P shell. In this case, the total number of electrons in S shell is 2, whereas for the P shell, it's 1. So the group oxidation state for the 13th group is 3. It's plus 3. Okay? Uh, for the, the group oxidation state for group 14 is 2 plus 2, 4. For group 15, it's 5. Whereas for group 16, it's 6. For group 17, it's 7. For group 18, it's 8. Okay. So you can find the oxidation number for these elements using the group oxidation state or the highest oxidation state. Okay. So the oxidation number. For group 13 is, you can calculate this by subtracting the number of electrons, the total number of electrons, that is 3, minus the number of electrons in S orbital, I mean the S shell, that is 3 minus 2 gives 1. For the 14th group, it's 4 minus 2, which gives 2. For the 15th group, it's 5 minus 2, it's 3. For the 16th group, it's 4. For the 17th group, it's 5. And for the 18th group, it's 6. The other oxidation state of these elements are, so let us start with the 14th group elements. The other oxidation state for this group is minus 2. The other oxidation state for 15th group is minus 3. The other oxidation state or the oxidation number 
for the 16th group is plus 2 and minus 2. For fluorine, there's a 17th group. The other oxidation states are plus 3, minus 1, and plus 1. The oxidation number for the 18th group is, the, I mean the other oxidation state for the 18th group is plus 4 and plus 2. Usually, the P block element uh, has a variation in the oxidation state and mostly contains uh, negative and positive oxidation states. So this is all about the interaction part of the P-block elements. Thank you.